to Dust2. Bit of a classic map for the Liquid boys. And they're looking to keep that heat up. They're looking to lock in a 2-0 over Fnatic. We didn't really see much out of the, uh, the Fnatic squad. I don't think they put their best face on yet. Maybe they've reserved it all for right here, right now. Well, they'll need to, right? Liquid even said coming into this, we don't think Fnatic have had enough time to be a threat. And well, question is, what's their reset potential like with such a new roster, with a new in-game leader? Gotta hope Fnatic still have fight to give us. Right now it's Liquid with no fear in the world. Running out middle with a mid to be smoke. Crims on the corner, good for one. And who goes Alex with the same result. Only one man left to beat. Brolin tagged up low and he does hit the flick. Trying to hold onto tunnels, dead to the Glock of Grim. And Naf needs to get that bomb out of no man's land. But Mezzi comes in from long. Now only Grim left up. Not a fun position, not an enviable 1v2. But if someone's got to do it, it's got to be Grim. Yeah, taking this uh, this fight with the Glock, though. Two USPs that can swing on you at a moment's notice. <laughs> it was always going to be a fanatic round. And, you know, for guys like like Elise there, he's going to be kicking himself that he didn't use that opportunity earlier on to grab the bomb from middle. Right? He goes instead to try and help Grim with the B-bomb site. Understandable. You know, I don't think you can say, oh, that was the wrong choice to have made. He had two options. Either get the bomb and hope that Grim could have locked that kill in alone, or you go and help him and then attempt to double back. But with Brolin stepping up, right, delivering that one kill onto a liege, and then the long flank hitting a good timing onto Naflite, it, it all kind of came together for Fnatic, and it felt like Team Liquid, the shots that had to land, had to hit, and, you know, you couldn't afford to go one for one in. Well, they ended up going that way, didn't they? Alex was holding for the boost, and so a liege has dropped out of the round early. This is just the Glock round for Team Liquid. Yeah, I actually like that Liquid just goes straight for Glocks. It would have been easy to justify forcing, come in confident, come in overzealous perhaps, but Liquid just want to get guns out. They want to maximize their buys. And so falling short in this one, giving Fnatic a clean round and then coming in with AK. Stewie still wants to rustle and tussle with this round. He's got a Deagle right now. I guess brought up by a Legion, handed over. Looking for these Apex. chikino has got the scout. We saw a lot of damage off of these in the first map, even if kills weren't apparent. Chikino now needs to get something, anything. Hit a shot and set your team up as Mezzi waits in Goose. He bites down with two, and it's two for each as Fnatic find their second with five alive. Liquid now coming in with guns, and they are raring to go. Yeah, you know, you're, you're going to get given a, a big test right away with the uh, with the AKs now pulling through for Team Liquid. You know, you, you got your free B round. You had your chance to keep it nice and clean. Now, as you head into this bonus, you're either going to reap the reward of those AKs, you're going to bring them with you into the future, or Team Liquid are looking to get on the board very, very quickly. What have they cooked up? They're just going to go for a bit of a default here. Two over towards the lower tunnels. Naf taking this early long spawn, but flashed off the angle, has to concede it. And so right now, you know, it's a pretty standard start here from Liquid. You're trying to take tunnels, you're trying to hold this control, you don't want to give up long doors, and you're just waiting to see if you can get any info from mid-crosses while you gain this control. And now they'll probably poise themselves. It's not uncommon to see Grim just hold on to these upper tunnels while the rest of the guys go back and work mid and cat. And then with, uh, with Nathfly holding on to long, it gives you a lot of options here, right? You've got Catwalk. You can use that to accelerate the pace into an A play. Alternatively, this can be nothing more than a ruse covering up the true nature of a, uh, of a mid to B with this tunnels push from Grim. So let's see what Team Liquid want to do. They're right where they want to be. Yeah, but Fnatic know everything, right? They've got the info. They hear them up. Catwalk at least getting reloads off. Alex waits to flank this A play if it is to come through or to stop a mid to B. And he'll know it's not the latter. Naf is running until he's not. Resmoke at mid. And that'll mean Alex probably can't go through at this point. Now you just got to wait for the cross. Scout for Giacchino needs headshots here. Tags won't do it. Player coming up from CT. There's the first tag. Giacchino trying to back up now. Oh, he's done two in. Alex has got a couple of soft players to finish off with this UMP. And so in he moves, taking down Fallen. Giacchino now has the room to re-aggress. And he's taking more and more tags, more and more bodies down to the grave. Alex is here to make the money on the way out. Liquid don't know where to look. Everywhere they face, they find bullets. And Giacchino is hitting heads right now. Nap alone, no time for it. And that's a nice clean round out of Fnatic. 
Chiquinho scout does so much there yeah. to set you up. He tags every single player that they fight at a minimum. And at most, you know, he's delivering the kills. He's delivering the goods. It makes it a very easy, you know, stress-free round for guys like Alex. Uh, over towards ramp, just re-peaking on the back of that scout with the UMP. And so this is kind of worst case scenario for Team Liquid. You, you brought the AKs out early. You really wanted to find that round, knowing that there wouldn't be a lot bought out for Fnatic. Well, now you've gifted them three AKs. You've set them up nicely. They keep that round clean. This is a really nice start for Fnatic, and already this should put us on a path to a far more competitive game. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, with an orb there, if you're liquid, you're probably not expecting as much resistance, right? Maybe maybe you get an orb shot off and you get a kill and you run back to long and play retake. But because Alex has already gotten up from CT to ramp, uh, you know, Jaquino is able to not only keep re-peaking, but knows his tags are going to get finished off. And I like that. Liquid keep trying to fight him instead of just focusing on the plant and focusing on getting Alex out of ramp. They never really get control or space in that round. Very small detail as well was uh, the whole reason Alex was able to get there was because of that flashbang that Jaquino through earlier, right? It made the players on Cat turn away from the CT cross for even a moment. Ooh, now they hold yeah. down this B bomb. Sight Crims ain't letting you in. He's going to stop two at least. And this is nice. where Brolin looks to hold on, already getting a much better face out of Brolin. Grim left up in the clutch. A one on three, and he'll get cut down over in CT with Jaquino grabbing a rifle as well now. Fnatic are up onto four. Oh, this is what it's like having to start on the T side in 2021, right? It's, uh, it's not as easy anymore. And they could have finding out the hard way. Nice deep smoke there from Crims. Him and Brolin playing B together as well, right? The, the oldest standing duo left on this team, you could say. And both of them doubling up. Seeing a lot more out of Brolin already. Fnatic able to actually run CT rifle rounds, right? That's a, a pleasantry they weren't given on that first map. Grim gets out past the Molotov, but have to get a re-aggress with flashes, and they molly him as well, but he's got a nice big gap thanks to that deep smoke. Doesn't wait to throw it. Nades will do some good damage, but Nap will do more, spamming Alex out. Chiquino trying to move in, but they're coming behind him. He hears the smokes, he sees the mollies, he doesn't know where to look, and they crouch their way into the bomb site. Chiquino's under hot water right now, and Grim somehow hits the flick back to take two. Roland might want to give this round up, but Crims has now tempted them back in. Is it enough, though? Two on four, bomb planted, and Fnatic are out of there. Yeah, Chiquino needed something, right? But not only is he trying to help his teammates who are calling for support down on the long, down in pit, but he knows they're coming up catwalk with utility as well. Yeah, uh, that, that looked like a real-time like uh, real example of someone stuck between two minds about how to approach a situation. Like you say, his teammate along probably saying like, but I need help or us, I'm dead. And he gets caught between that and his responsibility of holding the catwalk. And there's that big period of like indecisiveness where he's just kind of going, going towards them both. Like he's looking long, then going back to cat, then goes back to long. You know, if he maybe just dedicated to one of those decisions from the get-go, could have been a different outcome, but that's something to be expected, you know, like with a team like this Fnatic squad where they're still trying to oil out some of these problems, they're still trying to iron out the kinks as it were, you know, uh, th these things might be prevalent uh, and it kind of sucks in this situation. Yeah. Nice round for Grim though. Liquid get on the board earlier than Fnatic did in that first map. It was 6-0 up before Fnatic broke that streak. Liquid are in early. Fallen's got the AWP as well. 0-5, but this guy was a beast, right? Do not take your eyes off him. Elige may have taken the top of the chart, but Fallen, he was 6-0 in opening duels. He won two clutches. That's double all of Fnatic combined. And he had, I think, five multi... Oh, no, more than five. A lot of multi-kill rounds in, in there as well. Fallen really had a great game on Nuke. So Dust for an AWP should be a paradise. Cat taken again. The hit smoke. So valuable in getting you up on the short side without having to worry about someone walking out lower, right? It's better than the Xbox smoke because that can elude some of your vision on those doors players. You're never going to push through doors as a CT with a hinge smoke. Your legs will just get shot out from underneath you. Good grenades for Fnatic. They've softened up the cat players considerably. But Liquid want to go back and get their vengeance. Oh yeah, but 
Brolin's up close here in middle. He's got a player dropping into CT as well in Alex. Perfect bait. And yeah, it's, it's drawn them away from this A site, which was where Team Liquid were looking to end up. That's where a bit of a clutch Molotov comes out from Giacchino. It gives enough time for Alex to get set up here on the ramp again. Not the first time that Giacchino's util has allowed Alex to get better poised for this A hit. Will they be able to reap the reward oh. now? The flashes are good. Giacchino and Messi lining those up. And Giacchino's orb looking good for the first at least. Fallen. Oh, oh double up. Chill. And now given a chance at the plot. Now he might die to Brolin on the run up, who's just going to look to run him down. And he will get the better of Fallen in that head to head. Oh, a sigh of relief for Fnatic, I think, just getting that round after Fallen finds two very quick shots back in. And as you said, yeah, that, that Molotov is everything there for Fnatic. Uh, Liquid baited Fnatic into that double mid setup. They peeled a B player down the ramp. They peeled Alex off of A. And very quick reaction to realize, wait, no, it's, it's just a fake. It's just a lead running around the middle, making noise with the Molotov. He gets back up and look at his position in the middle of the bomb site. Two kills, mags on Brolin today. Oh, Perk this or is liquid a rush by the looks of things. They were keen to go for Ooh. it. It was all hinging okay. on getting an opener, and there's the opener. Crimson, let's see what it can do. He's going to try and hold down the B-bomb side, but actually, Psych. no. It's all a bit of a ruse out of Liquid. They know that getting that kill and dumping all that util through the tunnels is going to really shuffle this Fnatic CT side around. They leave it long enough. The Fnatic have spread their forces between this B and A bomb site. So now, you know, if you're if you're Chiquinho and Messi here, you're hoping that you can just get even a kill to poise yourself for a retake, right? If you can find the long lurk, if you can deal with one of these short players, ideally, you know, you'd want a double to leave yourself a man up in the retake. And they might get that delivered because of this double long wrap that's coming in from Team Liquid. Chiquinho will also have room to take a fight up here on the catwalk. And so right now, we, we need even, even trades at a bare minimum out of these Fnatic boys over on A. Oh. If the rest of the squad are ever to lean into this, Mezzi playing with fire in this smoke. There's the first, but he can't follow up. Not the end of the world yet. Chiquinho could still make this a doable round. The Molly, Team Liquid, run right through it. Naf's found leaving long. And so now, Giacchino, one oh. kill would mean the world, but instead he's out on an island at long. Oh, the penny dropped too late there. His team killed Naf running back from long yeah. in the middle, and, and it seemed like Giacchino didn't realize for a few seconds it was clear, and in that time he could have got set up, played pit, played corner, gone for the retake round. Instead, he's out in the open, and he just gets swung by Liquid. Nice fake play for Nap. Even though he dies, it's enough to draw the orp off. And now Fallen's taken it back. It's a lock of the round. There it is. And that should be the kill that seals the deal, too, for Liquid. Yeah, I like these long to, to A splits. These, these fast A takes against Fnatic. Even when they know what's going on, they can't put a stop to it. I'm sure the call came through for Alex. He heard players jumping in lower up onto Xbox. They knew that was a likelihood. But even on Mezzi, only one in the smoke fade, and none for Chiquinho is not enough. And that's Liquid building back in. Double or didn't do Fnatic much help either. Man, that is a bit of a cry and shame, you know. I, I think you're dead on about the whole realization for Chiquinho just coming in a second too late. Like, that would have been such a different round if he was able to get poised at long uh, and, and set up for the three-on-three -three retake. Or even just watching once, the A site, you know. Exactly. Like, take right? one down with you, etc. Once he's out in the open like that, he's in a spot where if he doesn't win his fight, then the round was over, and that was always how it was going to be. All right, Crimson, Crim's primary or saved on. Brolin gone, and B has fallen in this round. Alex tries to spam a liege on the jump, but he's just fine and dandy. And really, you should be already thinking about resaving this AWP. Maybe you can grab an AK as well. chiquino has got it. Well, that tempts you in. Send the pistols in first, at least. See what they can find before you throw away your rifles. Nav holding onto tunnels. Alex jumping. And Nav knows what's up. But it's all a bit of a bait for Mezzi coming in through spawn. It will take time, though. Liquid have no interest in losing this round. It would be quite the calamity. Oh, Chiquinho close, but not quite. Now that flash back in by Fallen, and he finds a double. Knows the AK's in spawn. Knows Crims was orping middle, and so Liquid can just exit together. It's a shoe in of a round.
Yeah, but Fnatic weren't meant to win this one, and they know it, right? Even though you had that promising opener out of Crims. It was always wishful thinking that the solo orb would be enough to find you another round. And so instead, they've been homed in on getting the rifles out. I think you do occasionally, you know, see some of these uh, teething issues, we'll call them for Fnatic, especially over towards the A-bomb site where you got the Brits playing alongside Jaquino. It's one way to lob an Xbox smoke on the fly. <laughs> Let's throw it off the wall. Elige, oh, he's inside of the smokes. They hear the spam, wants a flash fade, but there's another one popping in. It's perfect. Messi just about controls the spray for a kill. And Alex decides to give it all up. Let Chiquinho line up a double, and he almost did. He almost did, but now he's in hot water, hot fire, no armor, no smoke, no chance. Elige also found Alex swinging to try and save his life. And now just gunfights being picked up by Liquid until Brolin smoke shots Elige. That throws this round up into the air for a moment. But if they try and retake off Catwalk, Stewie is here to win everything. Yeah, Stewie's on a real grimy angle, mate, holding off these rotations. Even one is enough. He doesn't need to fight Crims here. You might be tempted because you know you can knock the AWP out of the round. And honestly, I think if you're Team Liquid, you're anticipating a save here. Crims has poised himself on the Catwalk. It should be nothing more than a save. Yeah, it's safer, right? Like almost hiding in plain sight, yeah. right? L like uh, like machine and prop hunt, uh, which I'm sure people will see eventually. Sometimes that's the best way to get out free. Liquid are never going to check cat. And if they do, they'll be running away from the bomb with their knives out. Instead, it's long. Crims will save. And look, Stewie's hunting tunnels right now. He's checking the expected places for Crims to get out. So orb yoinked and round taken by Liquid. Again, these these long-term cat splits they are the way in for liquid they are what have been working they've tried the long take they've tried the cat take throw it together bake in the oven for 30 minutes and you got yourself a meal exploit the the less experienced stack oh lovely flash as well crims just took a blind shot but he couldn't get off the angle in time and neither can jaquino has fallen runs him down with the awp presente indeed five on three and they're going to keep feeding you Grim gets Brolin out of that B-bomb site. Also, Nap is orging. Loves an org on the CT side. But he's here on the attack as well. Grim tapping out Messi. And it's a nice, clean, confidence-boosting round out of Liquid. Drawing the score back to 5-5. Anyone's game now. This is a 4-0 lead for Fnatic. No longer. Yeah, and, and you know, wonderful openers from Fallen, right? He runs into the only danger in that round, which is the AWP, and he beats it not once, but twice over at long. So, you know, a, a lovely little round out of him if we can get some more shots like that from this T-side AWP. Oh, we're in for a treat. Still, he's donning it over him once again. Taking that orb down into the lower tunnels. Jaquino, glass cannon on the other side. Oh, okay. Nice spray, dude. Through a pixel angle. And Stewie's followed up. The T-side combat open middle before the smoke blooms. Now it's down. Liquid just had the hallway taken. They're going to run into B. Now, Crims has locked in upper tunnels. He has taken that at least. That Liquid are wondering, where is that B player? Where has he gotten to? They molly off tunnel, and that forces the save. Naf is the save denier, though. Still hanging about in T-spawn. It's very grimy, isn't it? <laughs> you almost don't want it to work. <laughs> Because it, it's just gross. Like, he's been here since the start of the round. He's here at the end of the round trying to deny saves. And he just might get his way. How long does he hold it? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, CS strike. logic. It does dictate that the moment you look away from an angle, that's when they peek it. That's fine, though. You're not worried. The only sad thing is you lose the org. But uh, Liquid are now up in the lead. Fallen's dancing. Fallen's having a great time. And Stewie's dead with a bomb while fist bumping. <laughs> nice. Well, you know, team spirit is what matters at the end of the day. I don't mean the CIS squad. I mean the, the spirit of the team. Yeah, thank you. Got there in the end. Oh. Yeah, we bring yeah. in like the... It's like the dab, <laughs> but with more layers. It's pretty cool. It's like a dab into a fist bump. 
You know, you got the twirl to build up into it. Fallen's always innovating on the classics. True. Speaking of, he's back on his AWP. Back on his Might BS. boost him lower to go for this uh, this peak. Right, he's got someone there with him. Instead, he's just scoped up ahead of time, and Chiquinho holding for a mm. mid cross. We've normally seen Chiquinho with the off over at crossroads. So oh. him being in middle could come as a nasty surprise. Oh he's never even needed, but he will strike eventually. Chiquinho's all already having a better time in middle. And I like that, right? That, that's either Alex noting that maybe, you know, he, he's feeling a bit uncomfortable. Maybe Giacchino says it himself and just says, look, I'm getting bodied over here on A. Give me a change of scenery. Give me a chance to take these fights with the AWP. And he gets a, a must-win fight in this round to leave it in a five on two. Yeah, you know also the Liquid haven't exactly been doing these quick A plays out of spawn, right? They have been setting the precedent. They have been going B, getting a pick, you know, throwing in some mid-util, faking things out. So your options are going to be available there to get that quick pick and go back to the A site. That's what he's done. You know, Elige also turned from Stewie's flash, and in doing so, double took that close mid player of Brolin. Nice setup in mid for Fnatic, and right now they're flanking the play for Liquid. They've got all the info. Barrel spotted. Grim, a dead man. Stewie too. You've got to hold the shot till you've got both, and there they come through. At the same time, Fnatic bite back with a five alive round. That's got to feel good. A change of setup, a change of pace, and Liquid back to the races. Naf couldn't get the orc. He's put the Krieg instead. Yeah, this was awful as well. So unlucky before he jumps and just gets decimated by Alex, who was crouched on catwalk. If he was uncrouched, Fallen would have seen his head there and likely taken the kill. Fnatic, that is a big round, though, to keep you in this CT side. Anyone could take the half at this point. Smoke's so good throughout the map. Yeah, Fast right. up cat. This is the same play, but insta. Yeah, no more slow mid control. They bye are bye already bye. here. Hello, Fnatic. Giacchino tried his best to hold on, doubles up before he's sent to the grave. And the other two were very far removed from this play. It's the AWP's left stand in and fallen. Once an AWP to the action, mate. He's taken out Ooh. Grims. Naf with a missed shot. Calling for fallen. Oh, oh my he god. Could have it. It was Brolin. He knows. And fallen's got no idea. Blindsided by the car player. Now fly the offer, baby. Oh, Here god. he is no, trying no, to make no. it happen. Brolin taking a fight that maybe he didn't need to. Oh. He creeps out for Napfly. He locks it in. Seven on the board for Team Liquid. And Fnatic, that is such a shame. Mate. Brolin swinging, giving up that fight, giving up the 1v1. And the timing just wasn't there for the site peak either. There yeah. wasn't really an angle afforded to Mezzi. Oh, that's so awful. So awkward for Brolin. You know, I guess he's thinking Naf is still holding the bomb site. That's what he should be doing. There's a player right there that Naf's seen. And so Brolin just goes in for the swing. His teammates a little bit late. <laughs> yeah, doing. Doing. That's Talk what I like to us, baby. Look at the fast pace, right? He caught Alex with nades in hand on the A site. He was trying to get up catwalk without the boost. Well, like Liquid, you said. Change of pace, Fnatic are not ready. Like you said, they just haven't encountered countered that yet, right? So so they're used to seeing these mid smokes go in and it's like, oh boys, we got like 50 seconds before they even get here. Nope. It is a complete change yeah. of pace from Liquid. Great cool. But now cool. Fnatic are ready for that kind of thing if it were to happen again, right? And they've started this round in a five on four. Yeah, Chiquillo certainly had some opening picks in middle. This position has been a nice change up for him. He's taken down Grim from the get go in this round. Liquid still committing on Catwalk. Wherever they go, they are not to be favored. Leaving a liege back in tunnel gives them a get-out clause. Cut the contract, go back. Alex in mid, catches Stewie. The bomb goes flying in. Fallen had to hit that trade, he did. Brolin stopped the liege in tunnel, and Nap has provided an entrance to that B bomb site. You've still got to worry about Brolin, and the flank is in at the perfect time. Mezzi's already crossed out Fallen. Does he know? He seems to read it. But Mezzi's tucked in. He's not giving away the kill. He's not giving the escape route back. Fallen's got to carve a path elf elsewhere, sneaking up the ramp. Yeah. Elsewhere. Here he is. Up through the double doors. Oh! Dead to Brolin. Wasn't ready for the close angle. This is competitive. This is the game that this we wanted. This is what we wanted, yeah. yeah. It just yeah. feels like it's about delayed, and it's fine. This is perfect. Yeah. We can still get an exciting three mapper out of this one. Who knows? Absolutely. It's anyone's at this point. But Liquid, really good T side. You've got to wonder, you know, what's the depth of Fnatic as good as any player or team can be on Dust 2. You know, Liquid have, uh, Liquid certainly got some cool setups and cool cooling coming out of Fallen. 
And he is just running down mid, no fear. I'm surprised to see that after this. Chiquinho Orp has been, uh, you know, picking off players uh, in middle. Liquid don't seem to care. They know it's back to the A site. Solo B hold for Crimson's Orp this time around. He's going to smoke off Grim and Upper. And Fnatic take Cat this time with their guns out in case for a pace change of Liquid. They're even going to flash. We've not seen much aggro move from Fnatic apart from long takes, you know, pushing top mid in these five on twos. And so this is a nice way to catch Liquid off guard. No one's on Xbox right now. No one knows. And with the bomb outside of B, Liquid will eventually be going there. Now folding for these long takes that definitely have been in the back of Liquid's mind, right? Seeing Mezzi push out a lot of the time. But Liquid re-smoke middle and try and trap Crimson B. Yeah, Alex has gone through this once oh, before, no. but oh, this no. time he's team flashed oh. and Sefallen is ready for it. Crims wrapped by Stewie, and that's the solo B defense brushed aside. It's also put an AWP into the hands of Stewie 2K. Now they're going to try and draw your attention away for NAF to get value out of this position. And he's seen the wrap round from Brolin, but isn't able to beat it. You're hoping these double orps can thin the retake out before it arrives. And that's exactly what Stewie was hoping to do with that shot there. But they're not connecting. He's down to a Galil. And now Fnatic with utility still to play with. Start to lob it all up and over. Smoking falling off back in the tunnel. Wow. But he's not even needed because Stewie and Grim win out the half at a bare minimum. Now moving into their CT side. Team Liquid fired up. Fnatic all eyes on Ooh. them. Yeah, going all B as well. We've got Crims trying to fake it out, but with a cat player with two, in fact, you're going to realize very quickly this is nothing but a ruse. However, Naf's going to need to hit some bangers in order to stop this B play. Stewie's trying to get involved early, and he's backstabbed the bomb. It goes tumbling into Giacchino's hands. He can just commit, forget the flank, go into the bomb site. Oh, Stewie tries to commit, and Brolin will punish that as the rest of the liquid side flood the tunnel. Everyone's here to fight. Fnatic don't want that B-side, they want the bodies, and they're dropping like flies. Two for Chiquinho, leaving Grim alone. He found that mid-pick, he stopped that man coming down on the lurk, but now he's got to pick up the pieces of this round. Flashing himself through Ooh. this smoke, Grim with the tap, but isn't ready for a second man in the sight. And so Fnatic, they arrive to the, uh, the server right away, and in spite of losing players to that lower flank immediately, the response was really good, right? They understood that Team Liquid were trying to apply that pressure, were trying to come in on these fast flanks through the tunnels, and so Fnatic stay grouped throughout. Every fight they take is a little, you know, three-man unit fighting against the one player on Liquid that's trying to engage upon them, and then they find Fallen over and B, and suddenly, yeah. you know, any worry dissipates. They've got the bomb site, they've got the info. And so they're looking to make a run in this T site. Oh, okay. A leech. Oh. That's two deeks. Maybe make it three, but he's going to get tagged and cut his losses, get out with his life. Giacchino, the tag god, has lit two up on the cross. Fallen and Stewie's scouts only just standing. This is a weird round for Fnatic. They may have the rifles and the range to some degree, but Liquid have a five on three. Trying to recuperate lost ground. Messi taking the AK out on its own. The danger of that is if you lose it, you arm Liquid even further. So we won't commit just yet. Yeah, I'm really concerned. But Elise already hitting shots like this, and now he's playing around some gimpy little one way. I don't know. I'm concerned. I'm scared. I think Elise is feeling it. I think he's switched on. Oh my god, that was it. Close. Oh, but he isn't ready for the walk up out of Brolin. Blind sides the sight player. Oh. Now looking for this scout that's playing around this short smoke. Oh. Grim will trade. And both these players are low from earlier fights. Messi and Jaquino with a scout and an AK between them. That molly forces the fight out of that, but he manages no. to get away. And Grim beats Jaquino in his own game. The scout head to head. Messi's got to do it all. A one on three. They fight him together. He can't find the shots. It's a team liquid with the force by make it happen and immediately tie this game up again. Oh, the Naf, he's the anti-moth man right there. He gets mollied out. He's pre-firing though. And Messi's scared about holding the angle. He doesn't want to get just pre-fired, deep tapped online peak. And so Naf is given a bit of room, a bit of respect, and he runs away with it. Nice shots out of Grim as well. Of course, a lead to open, and Liquid will close that force. 
Fnatic, that was a lot of guns as well. They had Galil's head, AKs, and some of which have been handed over to the Liquid players. Allege now with an AK in round three of the half. Ooh, lordy. It's about to get scary. Ah, oh, and yeah, I mean, you know, falling landing a tag only makes you more worried for Fnatic. Whittling these boys down. Elise will get caught on short with oh. nades out. Oh. It's a lot of return damage going the other way, and the silence is broken by now. Oh, get out. Still, he's even pushing the lower tunnels, Love and it. yeah, he's traded off the one, but it's You're not rubbing salt in the wound, mate. You're not too worried as well if they grab the MP9. No one's ever gone, oh, thank God we got that MP9. That won us the round. Chiquinho's throwing into a clutch, only armed with this scout. He's been good at getting tags off, but now he needs kills. Yeah, Leech isn't giving him the time of day either. Wants that AK, wants to keep it going, wants to keep it clean. Flank is in for Grim, a chuck spotted, but doesn't matter. Liquid, double digits first and foremost. They find a force and they stop Fnatic's in its tracks. Also, you want to talk numbers? Well, Brolin's top performing for Fnatic. That's a good sign, you know, considering he uh, you know, had a, a bit of a mare on that opener of Nuke. But not really a lot of opportunities towards B for Brolin, right? We did see Liquid, the, the majority of their rounds were these quick A splits. What do Fnatic have in store once we hit guns? This is what we'll have to wait and see. Full Glock round now. Liquid get a freebie. They've shot enough times on D2. They're redeeming their free ticket to ride. And Grim locks down long. Glocks are no problem. Bomb attempting to get down in B, but Naf is not going to let that happen. Nice dig. Oh my goodness, the double tag. Yeah, he won't plant. No rush, no risk it. And Fallen gets the biscuit. It's 11 to 8. And this is where this half starts now. Delayed for Fnatic. Yeah, they're, they're not going to have many chances, especially if this rifle round doesn't go their way, right? So so this round right now really decides how excited we get to be about this second half and how much we believe in the Fnatic comeback. On AWP in sight, it's all AKs across the board for Fnatic, but Fallen is donning his for Team Liquid. And while he's got this extra breathing room of not having, you know, Giacchino bearing down upon him, he's going to try and get stuck in with the AWP early. Flashed off of middle, he will concede and give up this ground. Playing the AWP drop down spot now, just going through the motions has fallen. Oh no. Flashing a mid and Grim has to spray there. That gives up his position. He's in this close cubby. Trying to keep him guessing. They're going to assemble the boost over the top. But Alex has been waiting for that the whole damn time. He reads them like a book. Knowing what the response would be to the spam in middle. Fallen holds the line for now, but it's a fast B reaction out of Fnatic. Oh, they actually changed their mind. They locked the utility in. We saw Team Liquid do something similar in the first half, right? They got that B pick. They, they explode with Util into the B side, but they don't commit to it. You leave enough time to get Team Liquid doubting, hoping that they outposition themselves. They outbrain themselves. Yeah. But if anything, Team Liquid have done the opposite. As yeah. mentioned, they did this in the first half. They're not about to fall for it. Yeah, I think Fnatic realized they were still walking into the stack right after Fallen got that mid kill. They go, okay, that's the A player rotating. And we know we haven't killed the B site, man. We just got a double in middle. It's just a floaty round for Liquid. So even though they avoid the stack, now they don't. Fallen's here just at the right time. And he finds Mezzi, who was lurking long all the meanwhile. Fallen now holds from the car. There's no Molotov to get him out of position. And if Naf can try and find damage to bait them in, he might not even be needed. Fallen's on two. 15 seconds. They've got to go. They've got to get this bomb past the car, man. Fallen will fall to Alex, but Naf and the site holds strong. And this kill doesn't mean anything for Alex. There's just simply no time to win the round. Stewie doesn't give it away. And so Alex saves the AWP. Yeah, that, that's a little heartbreaking for Fnatic, right? As mentioned, that rifle round mattered so much because now look at what's coming up, right? It's one of these partial buys. The moment that you see Fallen over on A, you're, you're kind of kicking yourself. You're going, ah, oh, bollocks. Like, they, they've read this. They're one yeah. step ahead. Remember, he was the guy that fought you in mid, that psyched you out of the B play. It, then you see him at car and you go, ah, oh, no, Liquid know what's happening. Yeah. They know what's up. He was way ahead of that as well, right? The second that, you know, the B player called, no one's actually 
here. I think it was Stewie, right? He sees the smoke go over the top and he goes, no one's in. And Fallen just runs. Like, he was there before Fnatic were through T-spawn. So, we're just one step ahead. And you've really got to give it to Fallen again. We've given him a lot of praise for his individuals in this series. But in terms of, you know, being one of these old guard players, being one of these, you know, major winners, and then taking time off and coming back, not many of his old teammates have been able to field anywhere near no. as impressive results at the top of Counter-Strike right now. And he may even fall and fit into that category for the longest yeah. time. Right? It just felt like constantly waning results. But since joining this Liquid squad, I think it's fair to say he's looked uh, better than ever, at least in recent memory. Yes, yes. And like, you know, insane rifling. We always talked about how, you know, the start of his tenure in Liquid, he was just the clutch headshot king with the AKs. It wasn't even just the orping that was impressive, but he's still hitting the old school flicks. He's still calling Liquid on this T side. And the results are speaking for themselves. Liquid, four rounds away from locking in a quarterfinals appearance against Heroic. I mean, the trends even said in interviews, right, they give Fallen a lot of room to do whatever he wants. And I think the fact that you're willing to, to poise around Fallen, the fact that you're willing to put that faith in him as this guy to, you know, call his own shots, as it were, uh, it, it is really telling how much faith they have in this guy. So here's the B play, Stewie 2K. Does have support from Naf, but it's going to take a moment to get there. Ooh. And Stewie falls immediately. Nice. Messi's Deagle opens up B on this little eco around the AWP. And just like that, the round is won. Messi has just carried Fnatic onto a ninth. <laughs> Certainly one way to do it, isn't it? Arming your team as well has never felt so good. A couple of well-placed Eagle shots. No, no door smoke needed. Oh, my goodness. That first play as well, back of B, just trying to get behind the boxes in time. They couldn't. And yeah, you've got pistols, man. Just hunt. Just throw yourself into the fray. Try and get these guns out. Any kill you get is going to have resounding consequences, not just long-term, but short-term as well. Liquid need all these weapons if they want to rebuy. So Brolin is here to deny. Alige gone. And double save at the long position for Liquid is not leaving them with smiles on their faces. If there was ever a momentum shift to get Fnatic back into the T side, that was it. An eco win. Allegiance Deegs, eat your heart out. Mezzi's back on the scene. Yeah, I mean that that is just lovely. And this is this is the very much the Mezzi effect, right? He can be the guy to to win you round single handedly. And admittedly, you know, we haven't had to see too much of that here on Dust. Yeah, we I didn't mean, really get to see much of Nuke either. He was the only guy winning rounds on yeah, Nuke, exactly, felt like. You right? know, every every round the Fnatic had was Mezzi multi killing. So, you know, they needed that. And now it's showing up in a big way with their backs up against the wall. Just a touch on the, the Fallen leading comment as well. Like, you know, for the longest time, Liquid, one of their problems was not only closing, of course, which we've talked about too much, but, you know, just the just the, the in-game leading role, moving all over the place, not being consistent, and not getting them the trophies that they felt they deserved with the pieces in this team. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of good things there for Fallen. Right now, he's got to show his flair, though, his individual, his flicks, potentially, smoke shot, uh, smoke cross, and Fallen mollied out of the bomb site. His teammates dropping smokes to give him a bit of room, and he's got a minute on the clock. But that's going to get this quick plant. Brolin's here to cut rotates, and he dances away from death, dodging Grim up on catwalk. They're still going to try and find him on this late lurk. Grim has been tagged by an AWP. Liquid very quick. The bomb's not even down yet, and they are fighting for the site. Is this a save again? Yeah, it feels like it, right? You kind of you threw bodies at the problem right away. Or maybe you realize, okay, this bomb's not down. Have they left it in spawn? Or oh, it's still not down. Really taking its time. And now Liquid are definitely committed. Look at the damage again, right? Orb tags, dinks, spam shots. None of them matter. Yeah, you at least get away with these three players. You could try to cobble a buy around this and... You know, considering you still feel the lead, you might be tempted to do so, but you're not going to get to reap any kind of reward on the back of it, right? You're not, like, breaking Fnatic's money on the back of a victory. You might just sit this next round out and look to establish yourself as fast as you can. 
The reason I say you could be tempted is that Grim can drop an M4 into play. You would have four rifles, you'd be running around the uh, the saved guns. And so they're still in with a chance here. Heavy long take for Liquid, but Fnatic go elsewhere to cat play. It to be smoke. Double down. In fact, they've even got the one to stop the jump up. Stewie stuck in middle on an island and he's dead immediately. Elise swings the smoke, but it's traded by Alex. Fallen now alone at B. He found one in middle to start, but that is, again is not convinced Fnatic. They know Fallen's here. They don't want to dry fight him and they don't have the util to get through. So back they go into A where two CT still sit. Yeah, Grim up in the sight, off and good in these uh, these anchor positions where he needs to get value. The flash from Nap sets Lovely. him up brilliantly, and he knocks them down. Chiquinho, one on three, and he's nailed the opener. Oh, oh and the follow-up to Nafly. He's trying to show us what he's got. Chiquinho now just fallen left to beat. The anti-clutcher, you called him. Yeah, I mean, he's got to live up to that now more than ever. He's been so good at stopping clutches, has fallen. He's been equally good at winning them. Chiquinho, Fallen stole a lot of your limelight back on that previous map, and he's gonna do it again, blindsiding him from short. Chiquinho trying to move there to go play around this bomb, gets caught looking the wrong way, and so Fallen locks the round in once more. He's able to stop clutches in their tracks, oh. and that's something that this Team Liquid squad desperately need. Yes, absolutely. Don't want to drop these high-stakes scenarios. Fallen keeps this game going, keeps it in the favor of Liquid. That would have been a round to, to lock in, you know, a comeback for, Liquid, uh, for, for, for Fnatic to equal things up. Liquid barely scraped by on the economy. Nice shot out of Giacchino, at least. However, they mean nothing in the grand scheme as they could continue to keep the pressure on. 13 to 10, three away now. Fast smoke over the top. Landing on the long corner. Fnatic taking it quick. Liquid have been taking long with three in a lot of these rounds. This one is an exception. It's early in the round two. They're going to have Molotovs to stop Fallen. Even with the smoke, they've got nades and they've got time to waste. Fallen needs these cross shots. He sees Chiquinho and he still flicks back. Oh my goodness, Alex is gone. Opening duel lost. Fallen trying to get out of dodge and he's got Grim to help him. Yo, yeah, the volley of flashes and smokes has kept Fallen alive and he's peeking around them trying to use these smokes that were originally to save lives. Well, now he's looking to take them on the back of it. Giacchino's tagged up by Elise back in the site. And while this is all happening, Crims is trying to work some mid control, trying to come in on a bit of a backstab to put some pressure onto Team Liquid. Now that bomb can leave long. Giacchino, not so lucky as far as he's concerned, oh, right? This info. But Team Liquid are rapidly spreading out. They're no longer focusing on Long. Oh. Instead, they're hunting down this Lurk. And now that you've lost Crims, you don't really have any options but to follow through with the A play. And look who's there waiting patiently. One step ahead again. It's Fallen's AWP. You couldn't beat him when he was at the car. You couldn't find him with the Molotovs, with the flashes. Well, now you've got to rely on a Lick. run boost. Fallen. Yes. Oh, he hits them. Messi dead. And Fallen's going to close it out with a hat trick to put 14 on the board for Team Liquid. What a beast. What a guy. Dude, he even went back to car after he found that opener, right? That looked that looked unredeemable. He was aiming at Chiquinho, and he sees someone come through the smoke on that double zoom, immediately flicks back to take out Alex Walker through his own long smoke. It's over past toilets all over again. Fnatic won't catch Fallen off guard like that. And Liquid two away. A keyboard broke over on the Fnatic side. Need to quick switch, but I'm sure they're going to be plugging that right in, Harry. And maybe a bit of a breather for Fnatic. One they need. They can't communicate in it. But hold off, catch your breath. Liquid Ooh. are catching up. I mean, mate, think think about how these last few rounds have gone for Liquid and more specifically for Fallen, right? He wins that must win 1v1 in a four-sport round for Team Liquid. If you recall, they saved three in the run-up to that, right? They put everything on the line, forcing up around those saved guns. Fallen wins that 1v1. The next round, he gets a big multi-kill 3k in the A bomb site to cement a 14th for Liquid and really start to put Fnatic on the back foot. 
guy like Fallen's going to be fired up now. He's feeling it, right? You've got to not only try to pull this back, but in doing so, you've got to derail Fallen, one of the most uh, one of the most resilient minds that CS has to offer. So your task's getting harder and harder with each bit of confidence that is built. And if this doesn't scream confident, he wanted to challenge mid just there. It was the orb shot raining out that makes him reconsider. But with Fallen really finding himself, Liquid are right where they want to be. Yeah, Fnatic leaning B, they haven't gone to this site recently. It's often in 3v3, so they fake it out and double back and walk into Fallen. No matter where they go, this will be no exception. Fallen's in middle. Quick rotate available. Stewie also leaning. Alex is trapped back in mid. He's going to group with his team for the full execute. Naf is ready to uncrouch and pounce on this push. Stewie seen it all. Naf misses his shots and Jakino takes him out with the orb. If Stewie doesn't get a kill here, they might have to give it up. Four on five, Liquid locked out of the door and they might just try and salvage their economy as Fnatic take a round. Yeah, I envision Liquid might start to pad this B site with a little bit more to give responses outside of NAF because this is how a lot of these rounds have gone whenever Fnatic have gone B, right? They get the one fight they have to yeah. win, no trades presented, nothing else comes through, and you're left saving. But this is where the mind games kind of start mm. in that regard, right? Yeah. You know, it's you, also the pace change as well, right? Like you think about how Liquid and the T side went for these routes. Like eventually they figured out the way in was the with the A splits, right? Through Long and Cat. And then after they started to lose some rounds, they just did what they've been doing best, but they did it out of spawn. That's exactly what Fnatic do. They just do it out of spawn. You know, Naf sees a B smoke, so he knows it's coming, but he doesn't think, oh, there's four guys running out of tunnels committing. And uh, by the time you realize it's already too late. Chiquinho, he's had a great game as well, right? Like, a lot of flack has come from that opening game against Na'Vi. People were questioning him on the AWP. They hadn't seen him inside of Fnatic on this main orb role. He has really lived up to the hype since that matchup, not just here in Pro League, but now in the playoffs when it matters. However, will it matter? Fnatic still trying to pull this one back. The mind game's beginning. Liquid don't bite. They leave Naf alone on B, and they stack the A side. Grimm's even pushing the short side while Stewie mows them down at long. Locks them out of this control. And even if you'd gotten past Stu, Elise was there. Talk about a terrifying twosome waiting on the other side. Chiquinho with this AWP. He's been good at getting openers. He's been good at salvaging you know, rounds and moments for Fnatic. And as he waits for this mid smoke to fade, he's hoping he can find another, but never presenting itself. Stewie has taken long control and Team Liquid have padded out this B bomb site with an extra man in Grim. It will be just a cat response out of Fnatic. But with Fallen waiting on the other side, Stewie lining up flashes and even Elise down in CT. Oh. It's a lot to try and get past. They find Fallen right away. Alex's backstab doesn't quite do the dirty to Grim, and he's now just looking to get out of dodge over in middle. It's a nice feeling that you've shut down that lurk. It's giving you a little bit more room, and you know that Fnatic have got to be poised over on the catwalk. They don't have any other oh. room. Jaquino hits a what? blinder, and Crims just drops into CT, taking dry fights. Fnatic secured 12, and it's a brawl to get them there, but they're more than willing to take the fights. That is audacious for Crims as well. He has been a, a bit quiet in this series, but he's really come back in these last few T-side rounds for Fnatic. Moving away from the Lurk as well. That time it's Alex to do it. Often been Crims hanging around in lower, trying to cut rotates out. Terrorists win. Instead, he's with the pack this time. And with a missed shot from Fallen, we see the results that has for Liquid. Stewie in a very difficult fight, stuck in pit, even after this double to open up. Can't kill Jaquino with a double scope. And Crims not only entries, but closes as well. It's got to feel good for Fnatic. You know, even though this is so back and forth, it's like a slinky man. You never know which direction it's going to bounce. Fnatic are holding on. And finally, they've broken the money of Liquid. That's what they've been waiting for all game. I feel like we haven't had these Ecos. And the times we have, it's been Decos won by Liquid. Grim trying to get involved. This is how Elige won them that second round force, if you remember. Pushed up all the way through middle, and Elige is drawing attention, keeping that lower player on lock. They run back to B. Is Grim going to realize this, or is it already too late? Chiquinho is now scoped on short as well, and as a result, you are not considering that someone could have slipped the net here. Roland? Oh, okay. Well, Grim's got this one guaranteed. Oh, well 
Oh, why would nice I say jinx. it? Brolin's turned on a dime. And well, any hope, any hope now is out the window, surely. Crim's dead in the tunnel. Don't say it, Harry. Oh, it should be fine. It, it should, should be, be fine. fine. It should get contained. Stewie's still alive. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know why. But Fnatic are looking to put 13 on the board. Oh. Fallen waiting, waiting. Ooh. Roland's going <laughs> to check for him. And so it's 13 on the board for Fnatic. I was almost getting worried at our powers there, Hugo. Yeah. Oh. You've got to use them wisely, Harry. Roland, you've got to talk about his recovery story again. Like, four kills first map, absolutely horrible performance from the guy, and he knows it, and he has come back in uh, fighting tooth and nail. Even winning that long fight alone is, is insane. Should be a dead man with Grim walking in on the flank. Right now, Fnatic are breathing a sigh of relief, but they can't afford to get ahead of themselves. Fast down middle, flashes out long, keep back falling. That's a nice shot for Alex. Again, another opening kill for the in-game leader. He has been full of them today. Chiquinho flashed off mid, still hangs around and takes down Nap as well. That's a five on three on both sides of the map. Options are open for Fnatic. Yeah, at this point, you're essentially saying, look, boys, try and do what you can in your bomb sites, but if not, we're saving. Stu, we got to do it all, and the timing is rough. Crims opens up B, and Team Liquid are left trying to save, but Alex doesn't want to let you get away with it. He wants to punish, and the reason is, is, you know, if he hunts these guns down, if he removes even even one of them, but you want to get both, is it leaves Team Liquid with, with nothing yeah. up against 14-14. And so Fnatic, they've not only carved a path to a tie game, to a comeback, they've essentially locked in taking the lead, taking map point over Team Liquid first. This has been all over the place. It really is a fan of the attic. It's blowing dust either which way. Four on two and Grim just trying to keep this going, keep his sanity. Mezzi removes his face and it's fallen uh, looking at long alone and traded after one. Nothing you can do about it, to be honest. Fnatic, that's 14. That's a, a painful way to lose your weaponry and you lose your money as well. Plus the momentum. Liquid were in control of this game the entire time along dust. All T side. Ever since that 4 0 lead, Liquid put a massive comeback. They win out the half. It's all for nothing if they fall here at the final hurdle. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, uh, finishing you know, the job. You're trying to get cute with it, Stewie. <laughs> oh, hey, another tag. But immediately dead. And now any hope of winning this round should be out the window. They're even removing the guns from play. Team Liquid, they're, they're wise to the fact that this is an A play. They've completely cleared the tunnels. They've cleared out middle, so they know what's coming. But you are relying on one of these pistols to go above and beyond the Call of Duty here. Naf set up on short, but the smokes render him useless. Elise trying to peek over the top, but they're already past him. He's going to get shot in the back. And there's Brolin to seal the deal. The A play locked in. Naf, do you want to be the guy saving a scout in round 29? I assume he's pretty poor right now. He had to buy that up. It's uh, it's a costly one. You've at least got max loss. So, yeah, you don't really need to save. I, You know, we'll see what Liquid want to do with that final buy. And right now, Fnatic are laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, this was 14-10 to Team Liquid. And it was always destined, after losing the round prior to this one, to go 15-14 in favor of Fnatic. Liquid Grims. and now playing for overtime. And oh, Naf, by the way, you thought it was fun when you were getting nerdy in T-Spawn? Well, guess what? The spirit of JW is looking to live on inside of this Fnatic team. Just kidding. He's going to kill him with the AK. <laughs> we by the attempts. time's gone by. Oh. Yeah, I like this as too. He knows he hit the tag and he's like, you know what? I'm just going to catch him crossing long. I'm just going to get involved. If he hit the second shot, suddenly you're considering a round, but that was never meant to be for Liquid. This one, however, has to be if this map is to continue on in overtime. That'll Mirage to close the series. Double orb. Stewie's got it. Alongside Fallen, dropped over. It's going to leave Naf black and util. So he's at B with his, and oh, look who's right up against him. The hate of appeal. Mezzi for a change, and it's gone from the action immediately. Liquid, man up, often been a man down on the CT side. 
It's one way to flip the script, and it scared Fnatic away from this near empty bomb site. Even though Elise just come to pad it out, leaning middle, that still gives three a day for Fnatic. The bomb's coming back through mid to take Catwalk. It's going to come down to this goose player of Grim. You call him the anchor man, and he is here yet again. Naf just needs to die to sell the fake. Bring one down with him. And then the round is in the palm of Grimm's hands. Yeah, Naf, you need to be drawing the attention in, bud. You gotta hold on. Brolin let loose in CT. Grim, they know oh, about no. it now, oh, and he's dear. bullied out from everywhere. Oh, Brolin even just threw the bomb back up from CT spawn. I cannot believe he's gotten away with oh, it. He's no. gonna do it again. Oh, there we go. Second time's the charm. It's into the hands of Gr Grimm's. Oh, they deal with Brolin, but he doesn't die in vain. He's let that bomb go down. This is for all the marbles, either a third map or overtime on dust. And you know which way Team Liquid want it, but will Fnatic get them there? Oh, oh fallen with a blinder. And so now it's Crims, one on three, to try and do the impossible. They're up close, they're all around him, and Elise is going to lock in the OT. Team Liquid, they pick up 15. They're not ready to ease off the gas just yet. This series is going to continue. Got a fight, 15-15, double orbs out for Liquid. Chiquinho on his as well. Up for the job, he's had a great game today. He still has more to show. Yeah, you'll see Chiquinho do this a lot as well. He he runs straight down mid, just blind firing orb shots to give the illusion that he's holding those doors. Let's him get this early control. They boost fall and up on short. He would have loved that opener. He had a chance, but it eludes him. Oh, pick a spot, pick a side. That Molly's burning them out. It's like Grim in that final round, right? Trapped between two Molotovs with a smoke on neither. Crims eventually gives it up. We've seen Crims move away from some of these T-side lurking. Alex has been doing it more in the later rounds and Fnatic. Their best rounds have been, you know, just grouped up executes. They seem to believe the same. Back to B. When Liquid leave this lacking manpower, it often falls at the first hurdle. And a liege. Moving back to middle has left Naf, Naf on his lonesome. You'd love this Molotov for a lead, but it's gone out in middle. There's no util to stop it. If Naf dies first, it's a done round. It's a sealed deal. And so oh. Naf flashed off, hunted down by Alex. He needs support and he gets one. A lead only damage and Stewie while he hits a cross shot to the mid player. It's a three on three. Liquid definitely going to give it a go. Oh, Stewie, that is full send, my friend. Two on three. Liquid are locked out for now. Yeah, that's, that's a little ugly, but Whoa. the nade is suddenly going to entice you back in. Now, bear in mind, Mezzi was the guy tagged up by the rotation in the double doors. He's very, very low. Fallen wrapping all the way back through the tunnels. Grim waiting out here. Mezzi looks like he wants to push when he hears the pin pull oh. on the util and all that's done is give the kill away. Crims not looking up at the window and he might come oh. to pay the price, trying to thread the needle, trying to get out through the double doors, perhaps. Fallen making noise, Grimm's waiting, and there's the swing from Grimm in the window. The defuse is Team Liquids, they save that one. They finally repel one of these B plays as well. I think it was important that they didn't get steamrolled there, right? This B site has been a constant cause for concern, and even though Naf dies without getting really anything done, he slows them down, lets the liege soften them up, and a big kill that comes through is Stewie hitting the cross shot, as you say, right? That was the thing that left them in an even odd scenario. The nade then extends it. Don't get me wrong, Stewie gets a bit overzealous oh, going for oh, the window play. But I actually point, like it. It was it was flashed in. It's pretty crazy, yeah, and it looks silly, but it was flashed in. He was he, he had Fnatic caught off for a moment, and it's the last thing you expect, but the first thing to find is Stewie in this round. And so he's not feeling fancy after these last couple. Neither's fallen, tapped out, the orb gone. Both of them, in fact. Fnatic coming, blazing a trail, looking to find their first on the T side. Jumping up, Elise, can he stop them? Can he see or hear anything? It doesn't look like it. Oh, he misses the jump. Grim's up in, in, uh, ahead of a smoke, but the monster hits him, and he shoots to the wrong man, catching Crims with nades out, but Brolin gives the cover to his Swedish comrade. Two on five, you've got the money to go for it, but you've surely got no hope. Yeah, not gonna try and flash a liege in. 
but it doesn't work, Wonders, and this is a dominant <laughs> round for Fnatic. The right. one that goes on the board for Team Liquid is a tense little, you know, two-man unit having a retake together. When Fnatic get their 16th, it is dominant, it's five alive, it's clean, and it looks real good. It's been quite the dust two game, right? Eight, seven halves here, right down the barrel, right down the line after a dominant nuke game from Liquid. This is Liquid's map pick, and they're having to really work for it. Oh boy, Auto Sniper's out, a taste of Fnatic indeed. But no one there to receive. Liquid get across without damage. Naf. Oh, just spotted on middle. Crouch spraying, and he still gets the headshot. That could have gone wrong in a myriad of ways. Stewie dodges death for a second time. Gets away from the AWP. It was him to find Mezzi on that gun to get them into overtime. Well, now he's got to stop them yet again. Yeah, another B rush. No, the fast play. Naf this time is able to deliver the goods. And so is Stewie2K. Naf oh. with the D. And they'll close it out together. 17 to 16. And the B plays, the thing that, you know, really helped spur Fnatic on in their T side and regulation. Well, both of them turn sour yeah. when the overtime kicks in. They look flashed AF as well. That's a double team flash assist from Alex. You know, you, you can't always trust the kill feed, but that one certainly looked like it did come through. Maybe a miscom for Fnatic's cost them around, whatever it is. 17 up, swapping size. Liquid's T halves were quick A splits, and this looks like to be no exception. Yeah, I mean, it was Bully in this A site that found them so much success. Will they be able to repeat it? Grim is trapped. Chiquinho nailing shots on crossing players, and they've still oh. got to clear out the pit player. They will. Chiquinho trying to hold on, oh. and it's the A site wrap from Nap that finds him. Who Three needs on the ball? two. Three on two. Brolin in elevator, but he's given up the aim of the game, and Fallen shoots him in the back. Crims left in the clutch. Bomb planted safe, Crims Ooh. will still collect the kill, but now a 1v2 to try and muster. You got the AWP to worry oh. about, you got Grim down in pit. Smoke on the bomb, gives him more room, and Crims is trying, doing everything he can to keep this even. Ready for the fallen repeat, ready for him, and there Crims is. is gonna lock in the one on three to find 17 for Fnatic and keep this game tied up. Oh, he's brought so many clutches close today, but that's one that he can finally be proud of, finally converted. Oh dear, that flash as well got fallen off the angle. If he stayed on it a second more, he might have had the shot. Not today, though. That's a light out kill to Brolin, barely peeking. And Crims, I love the backup as well. Brolin's trying to close up. Look at what he's clearing. He's checking the smoke. He's checking the sight. It's the expected play to climb up near the bomb. Crims puts distance between himself and Fallen and gets it all. That's terrifying, but not for Crims. He'll even take one now. Throw it right back in the face of the Brazilian legend. Chiquinho sees that cross for a lead, and he takes the kill as well. That vision only went one way and Fallen shoots through the smoke again, keeping us even. It's like a game of chess right now, trading yeah. pawns for pawns, but where are the kings? Yeah, silence falls after the brawly start to this round, right? The orbs all looking a face, all looking a fight. Stewie, oh. not ready for Brolin up close. He'll feed the beast and leave Team Liquid a man down. Fallen can't trade that one. Naf, not oh, ready for swapped. the close angle. Accidentally changes to the knife. Really caught off guard by that one, huh? This is bad, though. Team Liquid are starting to get nervous. They're feeling this momentum swing back in favor of Fnatic again. Yeah, they're having to try and mentally recover after getting three on one, sorry, one on three by Crims in the round prior. They're now trying to deliver a heroic round of their own, picking up the pace in towards this A site. But are they ready for Goose? The attention's being diverted to Ramp, and so Alex is a nasty surprise. Even though Fallen trades that and is now looking a fast route into middle, he's got players on either side to worry about. Doesn't have a smoke to clear this or keep them off the angle. Flash is hoping to bait peaks, hoping to bait oh! fights. There's another man in CT that he's just not ready for. And so even though Fallen gives us three lovely shots in that round there, everyone else falls short, everyone else falls quiet. And so once more, it's on Team Liquid to play catch up and to play for another overtime. Oh, they're feeling the burn from that Crips clutch. Absolutely happy. Here we go. Oh. Spam away, Crips! Oh! 
both dead. Chiquinho is Run the it. last Swede standing, and you better believe you're going to get Delta B play now. Poland's out in mid, attempting to disrupt oh. these rotations, oh, no. but Alex is coming back. Alex is coming back. I can it. find him. Oh. Fallen is just too quick. Will he be ready for double cast? Yes. Oh, Fallen. Little 180 tried to put some magic on it, but Messi drops him. A one on three. Krim should have never won his. But Messi's in an even rougher spot. If this was in regulation, you would be saving no doubt. It's the last in OT and Elise is right middle. He's got this on a platter. It's double overtime on Dust2 between Team Liquid and Fnatic. My, oh my. The auto snipers, they devastate this Fnatic squad. Having flashbacks. Yeah, the other way. That's got to hurt. Fallen's flicks. I mean, he is monstrous right now. This man does not miss, it feels like. Double up on the T side into double overtime. Liquid continue to hold on against the odds. Fnatic, they've got a couple of their own. Swedes donning them. Brolin boosted up above the mid smoke. It slows down now. We've had some quick rounds out of Liquid. They don't want to bottle or botch this opportunity. They have the leading CT side coming into the closer. They're looking for a B-pop. Not done many of these for Liquid, right? Yeah, but Fnatic are three strong towards this side of the map. And with Crims finding an opener, it goes from bad to worse. Oh. They're, they're running through the utility because they have their minds set on the B play. But there's just so many bodies here. It's an even fight. These are not the fights you want. And so Fnatic take the first in overtime number two. Yeah, now it's it almost feels predictable, right? You know Alex is calling. You gotta watch out for those quick long takes, those spawn plays out of liquid, the, the fast Xbox folks through uh, middle. Crims, lovely little B Orp round as well. He's really come back into his own. We've had great recoveries on Fnatic from a seemingly silent first map in the series for many players to a 30 bomb from Brolin. And Orp is stepping up around him. Now back to a solo orb. The Legion on the Krieg has had a very quiet map, a rare one on Dust. If there was ever a time to step up, it would be here and now. And Belly had to say his name. And that's not how you want to be remembered. Fnatic, heavy on cat. Molly will keep them passive for now. Yeah. We've seen attempts at re-aggression on this position before, though. It, it feels like Fnatic have just gone, well, look, we just ruined the 1B play they've attempted. They're not going to try that again. They're leaning heavy towards this A bomb site, and Team Liquid are at danger of playing right into their hands. Chiquinho playing the AWP drop-down spot is beaten out by the hand of a liege. So now you know that AWP is here, at least. Fnatic do decide to mix things up and bring Crims into the fold at the B site. So temporarily, this A bomb site is a little weaker, a little more vulnerable. Ooh. Are you going to find that little golden window to slip in on the A play? You've still got to worry about this Giacchino Alex double hold from the crossroads in sight. And every time you've tried to go A, it's been your undoing for the most part. They might drop into a late mid to B with Stewie okay. making his way into CT. Now he can try to cut off rotations. There's still two bodies to deal oh. with, but with Roman toppled, Crims wow. right through the tunnels, and Stewie denies that CT rotation. That Team Liquid with a great on-the-fly adjustment into that mid to B, and with Stewie making it past, locking off that CT smoke, that CT point of rotation, the round was destined to be liquid. Yeah, that had all the likings to an A take, right? I think Fnatic are probably calling that. You want to know why as well? Grim is, is lurking tunnels. He throws in the door smoke. Crims hears it because he's close and he goes, no one's pushing in B. I'm good. This is not a B play. This is a fake into the cat take. And then Stewie drops spawn and that execution, that explosion into B fallen with another lights out opening kill to take down Brolin. And then Crims turns around knowing his B site has been lost with Brolin dead. And then he gets backstabbed. Four snipers and less crossing players. Fnatic have to wait it out. And at this point, you wonder, is that B player going to run on in? Fallen doesn't want to throw the AWP to them. Fnatic drop their mollies. They are leaving heavy B. They have to. They have no choice. Alex, opening kill. Aficionado going to get a goal at the end. But it's Nap holding on from the car and benches him immediately. Fallen, close jiggle. Can't get the kill, though. Liquid are in no hurry. All the time in the world, a five on four. They can sit back, relax, and wait for the util to be wasted. Oh, now you know someone was pushed up at these long doors. 
A lot of the pressure in this round is on Jaquino with this mid hold, right? He, he's looked so much better since he's found himself over in mid. We need to see some of that now. Flash dodge for oh, forward. Tiny mates. little angle. Brolin caught crossing players from here last time, and he's looking to do it again. Hoping to be that difference maker. Flash high, and Brolin still fighting, still trying to deny this mid control. That flash a little shallow, doesn't actually go through the doors to blind him. Oh no, missed and the they smoke. missed the hinge smoke as well. It's a bit of a utility blunder down here in the bottom of mid. The pressure may be showing for Liquid. There's still a man up. And with all this fakery going on at Cat, they're once again worried about the A play. Crims tucked oh, no. in, playing the copy. We need a multi kill. He needs to get more than one. And they're not looking for him, but Fallen will adjust on the fly. Stewie disrupts the rotations again. His impact cannot be highlighted enough on these mid to bees. Constantly a nuisance, constantly making you look over your shoulder. Even now, Mezzi is mad paranoid about this mid crossing. And it's another, you know, what should be impossible. Possible 1v3 for this guy in at the B site. Yeah, he was the man of the hour back on Nuke for Fnatic, but it, it matters not in this clutch. Surely undoable, tradable at least, and Fallen needs no support to close out with a 30-second kill. That's, again, Liquid leading after a half of overtime. They did it CT, they couldn't convert. They've done it T, and now is their chance to close. Remember, it's been, you know, Fnatic with the map points. With yeah. the chances to take this series, not only in regulation, but even in the first overtime, Liquid have always been the ones clawing it back. A flip script, and now it's Liquid in control. Chiquinho waiting for a mid-fight that he's not going to get given. It's not so much the Stewie Orb that you're concerned about, it's very much fallen. Top of the server at 32 kills, he's been able to overtake Brolin, who's having a lights Ooh. out game. Stewie, that was his opportunity to open the round for Team Liquid. Trying to brute force another. But as I say, Stewie's Orb pales in comparison to what we've had out of Fallen in this game. He's playing, he, he loves this little off angle as like the, the no. alternative to an Orb drop down spot. That one who's Oh my god! Fallen! He's awake today! Brolin shot round the corner at the speed of light, and not even that is fast enough to outrun Fallen's flicks. This guy breaks the laws of physics, the laws of the game, with some of the shots he's able to hit. He's blowing minds all right. <laughs> Brolin's brain splattered on the wall, and now Fnatic. They've got to stand strong in a 4v5. We've got this late cat execute smoke from Mezzi. That's going to give Alex a bit of room. And now it looks like there's a double cat play, right, with these smokes coming over the top. And Liquid don't care where you're coming from. They've got Fallen on long, on the angle, looking for 34. And there's a lock-in, fully blind. More flashes tell you more players are coming your way, but Fallen won't re-aggro into the orb. It's got to come to him. Yeah, flash him off the angle again. You bait the shot out. But now you're out of flashes. Now you've got to peek this one. Giacchino is actually throwing in another, but oh. still fallen strikes. Giacchino tries his best to trade, but the bomb is out along, and Alex dead in mid. Finally, it's Team Liquid up on to match and series point. Quarterfinals on the horizon, and Liquid, their first chance to close this second map. They did it with ease on Nuke, and now you've given them the opportunity. Now they're here to take it. It's kind of heartbreaking for Fnatic, right? If they'd shown up flat to Nuke to open the day and then kept that up on Dust, you would have just said, oh, well, at the end of the day, the better team won, right? The, the Fnatic just didn't deserve it. But look, they, they have come back in this time and time again to find these map points, but have never been able to cross that line to get us to a third. This is just a taste of what Fnatic had to offer. And we want more, but we might not get it. Alex dead at long to open up this round. Liquid in a five on four at map and series point, trying to lock in those quarterfinals. Yeah, and that's when you know things are going wrong. Alex has been the guy on this T side to get the openers, to lock off cat kills, to take Fallen out of the AWP. But the longer this game goes, the more fatigued Fnatic find themselves and the more Fallen finds form. Elige moving into middle. He's gone through this smoke every single time, and Nafai called for support. He will need it. There's Elige. Shakino misses his shot. Elige traded forward. Stewie rather pushed back into B and wall banged out. Gives Crims the chance, but the bomb's been dropped and they've got to go back. Yeah, this isn't ideal. This is wasting precious time off the clock. He might try and leave Crims set up here. He's going to look to ready. get cheeky around the smokes. He's, He's really ready. prepared for the boost. 
Crims could steal this whole round away, or he could be the first domino in the downfall of Fnatic. The Molly gives up his position. They both come through. Who's trying to waste time now takes players out of the round, and so Fallen is left in this clutch. If he goes through now, he could find a window player for free. Messi's caught looking the oh. wrong way. Crims is attempting the spam, but Fallen plays for the fight. Now he's let Crims get close. Full he's stick. on the bomb. He's sticking it. Pros don't fake. Crims swings in and takes Fnatic up on a 20. This game rages on. It never knows when to stop. <laughs> Crims, dude, this is insane. Dude, the wall bang onto Stewie as well, trying to get back out of me. That's a 4K for Crims. We had a perfect setup for Liquid, not just the open door that found a kill, but both Nath and Elige, the two-pronged assault in middle, and the last second swing, that could have been Fallen's round. He calls the bluff, he calls the fake. And, nah, uh, and, and that's another round, that's Liquid. With one more shot, or we run it back for a third overtime. Mate, you, I, you, you, you kind of had like full faith in Fallen yeah. to do something cheeky there. He knows that full stick and it just carries the risk of getting shot in the back. But God, he's, he's counting on Crim. The final round of this series or the start of many more. Yeah, and you know, as I was saying in that round there, right, Nuke might have been a real farce from Fnatic, right? It might have fallen flat completely. But if this Dust 2 is anything to go by, this team still have so much more to show us, so much more to ah, give. Yes. And they're trying to showcase that now to take us to a third map. First is the now incumbent Team Liquid, still oh, no. one away from closing this out. Mental. Elise is trying to make plays, and Chiquinho is now scoped up on short, having missed this timing. Elise oh! caught by Messi, and he's just saved Chiquinho's life, tipping this completely the other way. It's now a five on four for Fnatic, and it's Liquid feeling the burn. Oh, Elise, nothing can go right. That was a locking kill, a second earlier for Giacchino and he's dead. Instead, Fnatic just got to convert the advantage. Fallen's flick will never stop though. Nearing 40 kills. Is there even time to get there? Fnatic are four up on cap. Four players here. They throw in the U-Till and they double back. Double mid setup for Liquid. Stewie's leaned over with the AWP. You've got everyone in the right position. If Fnatic are going to double back, Grim is dropped. And so is the man in spawn. Backstabbing Liquid where they stand. Leaves Fallen in an undoable clutch. Yeah, talk about a taste of your own medicine, right? It's been Stewie dropping on the these CT flanks that always disrupts it. Fallen, well, he will nail that. It's still a one on two. It should still be undoable. But if one guy could get us believing, it's gonna be Fallen. Flash in, and he's looking for fights. Krim stopped the clutch last time, and he's gonna do it again to take us to yet another overtime. Fnatic and Team Liquid, the game that keeps going. A war of attrition. The match that will seemingly never end. There's another OT coming up in just a minute and neither team want to let go. Match points for Fnatic Fallen and Liquid can't close either. It's a war of attrition. Yeah, you know, who, who can keep this up longer, man? I'm... And Liege is, is having a bit of a rough time, right? And maybe you're having to lean on guys, you know, like Fallen, like Grim, a little more on the side of Liquid. We need Elise to get activated, especially with Grim knocked out of the round early on. It's him and Fallen still left up in this A bomb site. They're coming through! Oh! And that's a collateral for Fallen. He's kept this even. Can Elise hold the fort? The pressure is on now, Elise. This is his moment. This is his time. And he will open up with the first. Doesn't want to give this away. Especially not with Brolin. Now finding Naf down in the lower tunnels to even the playing field once again. That was 40, uh, 40 for Fallen off the back of that collateral. 40 frags in 43 rounds. This guy just doesn't know when to stop. Neither team does. Stewie, flick hit to Brolin and now Giacchino in the 1v2. He's got an MTB bombsite. Seeing Stewie in middle might be information at least. You know Elise was back on A. He's going to try and take that space quickly. Stewie doesn't want to give up a 1v1, but he doesn't know Giacchino has slit the net. Push the smoke. Disrespect right through he goes. And now Stewie knows Giacchino. Will he get given the 1v1 of his desires? The stick plant. Stewie goes right up to the door and catches him moving off the plant. Perfect play from Stewie. Gun not out in time. And Liquid find the first, although we know that means nothing.
Mate, I was so nervous there because that's either the peak where you go, oh my God, Stewie saved the day, or you go, Stewie, what have you done? Yeah, well, it's lucky. <laughs> oh. it, it, no, it's not lucky. Smart doesn't peak on the plot. And he actually peaks on the bomb down noise. He knows he has a moment where, where that animation is still going and Shikino cannot fight if it's an open plant. Look, the gun's still coming out and Stewie gets the shot off. Oh boy, the hype is here. Stewie is trying to close. Yeah, Stewie, keep telling us your sweet nothings. Keep yelling at me. Hit me, Stewie! Jaquino <laughs> pushing down through middle. Once again, trying to be at the forefront with this all, but nice. Stewie missed shot, and Jaquino is the guy to open up. I love how revenge. fearless he is in middle, right? Always doing this running straight down suicide, firing at the door, no scope, so he can get there faster. Just, that's scary as well because, you know, Liquid have got to be realizing it now at this point. And if you hear that shot, you can know you can just repeat willingly, freely. Obviously, the, the danger in the overtimes is, okay, is that one up or is that two? We've seen Crims tend to pick it up as well, especially on the CT side. But Liquid, they've not really been keen for the mid fights anyway. Stewie takes one, he falls. Chiquinho, the gift that keeps on giving, even in the third overtime. Molly to get fallen off, and it's easier said than done to push this man back to his bomb site. Away he goes. Grim still down in pit. Double B setup. Fnatic are ready to throw everything they've got at Naf and Elise. Yeah, you see the smokes coming in now, and Elise is going to try drop his, but the flashes are good to get them off the angle. Naf and Elise, they could win this whole round right here. Oh, oh they light up the tunnels play. They finally repel one again, and now they learn about Alex and Mir. Now they know oh. they've got him stuck. Grim will die on the swing, but these two B-boys, these band of brothers in the B-site aren't looking to go anywhere. Alex out in the open. Oh. The swing, but Elise is going to close that round for Team Liquid. He's finally starting to accomplish something in this game right when it matters most, right? That last kill with Alex landing that blinder of a shot. If you let that get to a 1v1, you're playing around the bomb, you're a little psyched out if you're Elise. That still could have been a problem. Yeah. That was a must win trade, and they get it over the line. Yeah, if anything, the, the few minutes to, you know, breathe and relax in the, the break between overtimes might have been good for Elise. If you remember how that last round went of the, of the previous overtime, it was Elise pushing top mid, almost killing Jaquino, and he gets saved by Messi with the headshot. So Elise was having a bit of a mare, but he's come back into his own here in the third. We go again, Liquid looking for the flawless half. No team has encountered that yet in an overtime. It's been two to ones for either side. More often than not, Liquid. Stewie back in tunnels, not willing to take this opening kill. Wait and see if Crims gives it away. Fnatic set up Util onto A and fallen. New round, same angle. Same shots need to be hit. Fnatic are already wider and he's double scoped. Got to be careful. Late player thinks it's clear and it's anything but. Jaquino decked, bomb spotted, oh. and Molly's down. That's kind of heartbreaking, you know. It, it led you into a false sense of security that there was no one holding that angle, but Fallen boosted up and over, and now playing his favorite of the two drop down positions over here, this little wider off angle. Now, he could just get flashed to the nines and be a bit of a dead man, but he's going to try and peek ahead of all this utility. Now has to get out of there as the flashes pour in. Oh. Elige, this could be another Elige moment to try and save the day. He is he's Brolin chasing, drawing, but he's getting <laughs> chased. Take that, Brolin. Fallen, Ooh, having a duck out of danger. Back into the site. All three players out on cap. Fallen, flashed in by Grim, isn't able to capitalize. Does see that everyone's here. Elige and Ram. There's another. Elige keeping this in the advantage of Team Liquid. And there's Grim to close a flawless CT wow. side for Team Liquid. As we say, we haven't seen a flawless half yet. Could this be what was needed to get you over the line after all this fighting? Insane shots out of Fallen to start as well. And that hunt for Elise, he realizes even just one kill here. Yeah, he's not going to be able to multi-kill, stop this cat play with all the flashes coming in, chasing them down. So he's praying, thanking someone, anyone, God Fallen, for keeping this game going. And in the favor of Liquid by three. Three chances to close the series, to go to the quarterfinals. And they spam down Crims out of middle. It's not the first time. The more auto snipers, the better is the Liquid mantra. And they're going to keep them going. Of course they yeah, are. Yeah, Elise ain't putting it away. Look, man, he wants kills. He needs a bit of a helping hand to get there. And so the auto's out for Elise. 
Is that the decision you oh, come no. to regret? This auto could churn through a mid player around these doors. Alex does well to keep himself out of its firing line. For oh. now, I speak too soon and he decides to try chance it. You can't mess that kind of kill up, even if you're having a bit of a rough one. Just shoot, lol. Just spam. And so this might be the end of the road. After all this fighting, after all these overtimes, this might be Fnatic's legacy here in the Pro League brought to a close. Unless the remaining three, a joint venture of Brits and Swedes, can come back against this damn auto sniper on a leash. Who knew? But he won't let them. Forget the AK, forget the AWP. Liege is an auto player now. Messi might get past him in CT, but the auto, yeah, now brushed aside. Team Liquid spread thin. Taking the bomb up through Cap. Fallen's here alone and tagged up from the fights earlier on in mid. You don't want that bomb to get dropped. Luckily enough, Naf's come in to save the day, and Grim has got the lurk 